Christian, how's it going? So here we are doing the uh, portfolio review and I opened the link that you have here and it's a YouTube link so that's pretty straightforward. Uh, some people send their uh, websites, uh, blogs and all that so I need to do uh, a lot of clicking but for yours it's just straight which is nice. So uh, let's see, uh, let me just play, play it first and then I'll go back and see what I or comment on what I see. Christian Dion, modern architecture, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is what you were saying that uh, it looks a bit dark on YouTube. Yeah, that's fine. You know, I can play with my uh, brightness here that uh, I'm doing it now. You, you not be able to see it, but I see it on my screen. The breakdown. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, this, uh, you know, definitely looks looks more like a game, which is nice. Team project, the modeling and texturing. Nice. Mm-hmm. That's awesome, and then this would be a uh, breakdown again. See, like I'm not sure what you're indicating there, but uh, they might be flat uh, surfaces, and you're indicating that. Yeah. Okay. So there's not that much animation, but uh, let me just go back and see uh, things that I know from the different uh, the apartment series. So the opening right there, Christian Dion. Yeah, this is nice. Uh, some people would, would like to have their own uh, contact information right here that you can say, you know, you're uh, somewhere, let's say. <coughs> Sorry, I have a bit of a cold here. Uh, let me just minimize that. Hold on. And uh, let me just go back to the... Uh, yeah, right there. Yeah, so some people would like to have their, you know, 604, 611, whatever number, and then email. Um, em employers like that, that would, that would be one thing because they can find you right away. Also, uh, if you can have that right on the opening, meaning that right here, and you open with that, that would be nice because it's all about uh, time. And then, you know, employers, they go through, I don't know, like 80, 80 reels per day, you know, and so they need to be uh, able to find that information really fast. So again, let me just keep on playing this one. Pause, play, and it's not working, so I'll refresh. That's fine. Mm -hmm. 2011, morning and texturing. Yeah, this is, you know, this is really nice. I like it a lot. Uh, one of the things that I was thinking is that uh, on the breakdowns, people like to see the wireframes. Uh, but mainly, this, you're breaking down the the, the passes, the rendering passes. Uh, like the beauty pass, detail, lighting pass. Yeah, and that's for the rendering, pretty much. Uh, yeah. For the models, you know, some people like to see the breakdowns, uh, the wireframe. Like if I just go back a little bit right here, you know, the wireframe that they can actually see how, uh, like, how many lines, for instance, how many lines you have right here. Uh, may uh, mainly because that would be going into the game. If this is going to the game, you know that they have some limitations, uh, compromises, things like that. So they want to see how efficient you are with this. Because um, you know the render version might be awesome, but then once you play, once you see the wireframe, might not even play on the game. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. You know, things that I really like about this one, um, it's all the uh, the camera motion. I think it's clean. I think it's nice because it's showing uh, the models and showing the location. That's pretty cool. I like that. First impression is awesome. Uh, all the colors you have here, like all the. Uh, color scheme and then how you have this right there and then everything's kind of like pointing right there as the camera just pushes in. I think that's pretty cool. I like that. I wasn't really confused. Uh, 
you know, with that. Some demo reels, they're really confusing with that. So this is really nice that you have it like that. And then camera slows in, and then you clearly see all these details. You know, if there's if there's something that uh, you think that you were actually kind of like like pushing the envelope, let's say to be more precise, like if all these things would be instead of wireframe, that would be uh, transparency maps, or I don't know, you have maybe like a UV thing right there. You might want to emphasize that on the breakdown for sure, so people know. Uh, let's say you might be using the latest shader, the latest render uh, technique. Uh, yeah, it's it's good to show those things like breakdown, detail, lighting, right there. Yeah, and it would be also nice uh, just just for people to identify these things. You 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 have a cross fade between those ones, and it's kind of hard to see between um, the uh, the first and or the previous and and and. And after it uh, passes here, you might just want to do a wipe, like a really quick cut, so people can really see it, especially because demo reels, they would be seen by people, uh, you know, they would be texturers and modelers, so, so they, they got to see it really fast as well. So it's just preparing the demo reel for those guys. Let's say like the producer, he's not, he's not going to really look at the reel. He's just more going to say, okay, uh, just grab the CG supervisor or the, the lead um, animator, and then he's going to see the reel, which is what happens. Uh, this is really nice, that chandelier up there. I think that's awesome. Yeah, and then, you know, you have you have a nice uh, eye for composition, I think, like the, uh, the dragon right there on the foreground. I think that's pretty cool. I'm not sure what this is, though. Uh, looks like a pumpkin in the background, but I'm not sure. Yeah, awesome. And then this one, you know, the same same idea. I think it's it's very clean. It's pretty uh, clear on what you're trying to communicate here. Um, I like the whole world, the tones, the colors. They seem to be on the same uh, uh, palette and uh, pretty unified. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, that's nice. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and I'm not sure what you're doing with that. Like, if that that cut out, if uh, if I play it again, let me actually go back. Right here, if you're showing that, that would be a a flat surface. Let me see it moving. Yeah, maybe, I'm not sure. But uh, you see how confused I am with that? Um, you might want to have a note when you're outlining that, you can say something like the, you know, flat something. Just just like the way that you have that, that you just go like, you know, flat polygon. Something that just helps people to understand. And, and again, it's just because you want to show the things that you've been doing. Like if that was a big deal for that project, um, it's... Uh, it's something worth worth uh, stressing out. Also, it says that it's a team project, and we usually sp uh, specify either on the resume, but I think it's you know it's better on the screen that you have something like uh, you know maybe that piece. That's what you're trying to say that um, all my contribution to this project was that you know building I don't know built uh, what is this like a castle? Let's say just for now, just to keep it simple build castle and then you say something some people like to say uh, I don't know like two weeks that's uh, that was how long my contribution was to this or you can have I built it I rendered I do I did the whole thing especially for team projects that people don't know what what um, uh, what you did because things are so seamless now so yeah that would be it and then this one yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I know that it's dark, and um, but it feels that uh, the shading there's there's uh, there's something about this that you might be cutting this out with Premiere or uh, After Effects. But I can see the cutout line. Um, all that I can see it. You can see it. maybe that's what you guys wanted on this as a as a team. Uh, but at the same time, uh, if you want to get rid of those things, uh, the lines, the outline, it actually looks way better. Um, in every single stage that I know, 
you know, when you're keying with the background, that's an obvious one. Uh, but if, you know, concept artists, uh, they try to get rid of those lines, the construction lines, so at the end, it actually uh, integrates better to the background. Yeah, so now you're doing that as well. So I'm not sure what, what that means if you're just working on those pieces. Yeah, I and mean, then uh, just people here. Okay, so as, you know, I think it's a pretty cool reel. I think uh, you just need to be more specific on the things that you built, and uh, you can show them like this dragon right here. That looks pretty awesome. That you might be um, willing to have a close up of the object. Let's say that you know the dragon he uh, he would be like right there, you know, wings right here, and then you just have that, and then it would be on a kind of like a turntable. So that's uh, because it has so many things that you want to show and you want to just put it like you want to show that model uh, if you want to apply for those modeling positions that would be a nice one because it's such a nice environment so you want to see it also um, in a more technical way that people can see it yeah so that's cool mm -hmm, that's awesome all this is pretty awesome yeah, you know, and then if, again, if it, if this is for games, that it says UDK, you can say something like, uh, you know, how in Maya we have that heads up display, uh, the heads up, oops, heads up, it's the uh, the HUD. This one you can say, you know, the scene is just five thousand polys, you know, something that that you are proud about that, you know, and again because it's for games and you're just trying to stress out what you were working on. Yeah, which is cool. You must see it again, so I don't. I'm not missing anything. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Yeah, this one feels feels more 2D though, which you know it's okay. Um, might not have any uh, lights. It might be just like flat surface, and that's fine. You know that works. Yeah, I don't know, and it seems that that little town fortress that you have right there. It's worth showing different stages or different sections of the land. I don't know, it seems pretty cool to me. So you can show more. The duration of the reel, I think that's great. You know, 1 minute 33. Uh, you have all these titles right there that are going really slow. So, yeah, I think that my reel is less than 2 minutes or 1 minute. I can't even remember. But, uh, yeah, that's nice. And then you have your name and then the email at the end. Yeah, it's up to you. Okay, so thank you so much, Christian, for sending this, and I'll be shooting you an email soon, just to let you know. Thanks.